Turning now to the rebuilding of Notre Dame, the French cathedral that was nearly destroyed by a devastating fire back in 2019. Our foreign correspondent James Longman has been following the progress of the reconstruction of this historical landmark. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Deborah. The French have just witnessed quite a moment. We all remember when the spire of Notre Dame fell through the building during that fire back in 2019. Well, the new one has been rebuilt. It is back on top of the building. You can see it there, uh, shrouded in scaffolding at the moment. But we got the chance to, to climb right to the very top of it. It has been literally a military plan getting this uh, church back up and running open to visitors next year. And the changes so far have been spectacular. When Notre Dame caught fire in 2019, millions watched a piece of history burn. An international treasure nearly destroyed. The challenge to rebuild it huge. I saw the scale of the damage in early 2021, the massive hole in the roof still wide open. But now, just a year till completion, the finish line is in sight. And you can see the spire. We climb our way towards the very top of the new spire. You can see the stonework here. This is all completely new. It was too destroyed to recover and this woodwork the beams have all been freshly laid and you can see that bunch of flowers that's a gift from the carpenters to say that they're done with this part hundreds of feet up the scale of this colossal project is clear and here we are right on the top of notre dame de paris i mean take a look at this view it's extraordinary and the spire is back i mean those images when the spire initially crumbled down into the church when it was on fire they sent shockwaves all over the world and it was a trauma for france it being back now, standing tall over the city, it's a rebirth. How do you feel when you see it? I feel very happy, very proud. Proud for all the companions, all the workers which work with enthusiasm. Americans were part of a large group of carpenters that came and they used really ancient techniques to rebuild the woodwork that forms most of the part of the roof and the spire. Philip Jost is head of restoration. Inside, the changes are miraculous. That hole in the roof closed back up entirely. Hundreds of years of dirt cleaned from the walls to brighten every surface. 2,000 specialists have worked on this project. Joiners, carpenters, stonemasons, artists and metal workers, all working around the clock to make next year's deadline. The stunning rose stained glass window cleaned and back to its former glory. This is the most sacred part of the church now, the altar. And you'll remember in the days after the fire, those extraordinary images of the cross down next to the altar with the debris all around it. Well, now look at it. The cross is back up, waiting to be unveiled. Now, right on top of that spire is the new weather vane, the golden cockerel. It's a national symbol of France. The old one was too damaged to restore, so this is a new design. And inside it, a fragment of the relic most associated with Notre Dame. It's a part of the crown of thorns, which Christians believe Jesus wore when he was on the cross. Alongside that, a tube with 2,000 names inside it. That's everyone who's worked on this project. And they say here it is, has to be done by December 8th next year. That's a date set in stone.